All right, uh, bakery, where are you? Well, do we need? Uh, we'll wait for the hotel later on. Not that, but I'm not sure if there's an ATM machine. Holy shit, everything's like a what the fuck? Uh, taxi, you <laughs> taxi. Um, what is this? Grand Theft fucking Auto? What the hell are you? Oh my god, you're an enemy! Holy shit! Oh, you gauge a mad taxi. <laughs> Hey, that's a problem over there. Get it coming out. It's a crazy taxi. What you want to be? Oh, blah, 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 blah. All right, we got to get rid of this crazy taxi immediately. It's totally scrapped. All right, you win. Game over. <laughs> oh, my God. That was freaking creepy. Is that also an enemy? I see another happy, happy village person. Are they infecting Foresight as well? Extra cranky lady. Mrs. Miss. Six to nine on the crazy lady. What the hell am I singing? I have read them songs on my mind yet. Some of these songs, I don't even know what they are. A handbag strap? Alright, we're gonna have to do some huge selling once we get to the department store, wherever the fuck it is. Uh, what's this place? Is this the bakery? Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter. Ape Software Development Team. Really? <laughs> oh, we can't go in. Aw, so this we cannot meet the development team of the Ape Inc. Inc. Software or whatever. Good god, this, the fact that this place is like kind of slanted makes me a little bit disoriented when going around this town. I heard of some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoli. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, Dinosaur Museum. Speaking of Topola Theater, there was a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Final Way 5. I'm totally bonkers about her. Nah, really? What happened to those digging for uh, buried gold? If they were found to gold, uh, but the money, they'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily if they were them. I go to Japan and live it if live it up. Bakery, there it is. All right. Control police force. I don't think the city of Forsyth is better than I don't think the city of Forsyth is better than before. So this is the bakery. Fourth floor, Forsyth Bakery, second floor. Second floor of the bakery. Okay. Um someone left their contacts. Where's the second floor? Up here. All right. Well, I don't think we need to buy anything for the bakery. Maybe we could sell some things. I was thinking there's a side wad born every minute. Is this it? What? You came to learn my grandma's memento, the contact lens? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks. That I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks just for five years. There are no holes and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me. Here, I'm being generous. Cora got a pair of dirty socks. Please take good care of my socks. Okay. This game is pretty fucking weird, but I think that's his charm as well. When used during battle, the enemy will get so nauseous from the ripe odor, they cannot fight. Cool. That was pretty useless. So much for uh, awesome uh, items to kind of favor. Uh, okay. So, Mr. Montelli with the power. Save, sold his soul to the devil or some shit like that. Um, should we go to the... Protect Mr. Montelli first. The safety of the citizens of the city comes second. <laughs> That's our job, you know? <laughs> oh boy, that doesn't seem like a good job for the police department. When Montelli became the owner, this department store began to have strange happenings. Oh boy, really? I wonder why the department store is closed. Really? So we have to meet this Mr. Monotoli guy, huh? Wherever the fuck he is. Monotoli, holy shit, this looks like the start of the place. Oh boy. This looks scary. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? <laughs> I just imagined her sounding like a seductive, sexy secretary or something. I'm the elite businessman who works for Mr. Monotoli's office. I don't know why he sounds like that, but whatever. Last night, there was a solitary tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? Uh, this seems like a creepy place. Ooh, a phone. Let's save just in case.
Record. Continue. We're gonna we're gonna stop. I think once we're done with this foresight area, whatever the fuck that is, huh? Oh shit! Nope, I didn't want to do that. What's this lady doing in here? Are you the uh, elevator attendant? This elevator is only for master pokies to use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why do you stand somewhere else? Be uh oh. So Mr. Pokey, huh? What the fuck is he doing here? I don't like the sound of this. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around this building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. That is dangerous. Whoops, I almost I was almost going to beat you up. <laughs> uh I don't like the sound of this. What is this place? I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Ugh, Pokey! What the fuck are you doing here? Ooh la la! This! This is my poor old friend! Ah! What's your name? Pig's butt! No, no! Base! Did you come here to bag me or some money? Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey! Pokey! Get it? Now, I'm Jelder Garde's Monotoli's partner! And I gave him political and economical advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, base? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! Oh boy. I guess I have to beat these guys. Oh fuck, they're actually escorting me out of here. Oh shit. Can we just beat these guys up? I mean, we got a baseball bat. You must never show your face around Mr. Pokey, got that? Uh, alright, so Pokey's here, disrupting shit, as always. Let's go after this- what the hell? You haven't changed a bit, base. I'm Anglos Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live in this life as a rich man. Every dog has its days. That's a perfect proverb to describe me. Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Ha 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 ha! Oh, my jaw is tired. <laughs> uh, well, at least did you pay off your fucking debt to my father, dude? You know, you still owe my father some huge amount of money. Is that is that why I'm getting rich? Is because you actually did pay off the debt and I got like twenty thousand dollars or something? Is that, wait, hold on. You only need to pay up twenty thousand dollars, huh? Okay, I, I thought my dad would. I, I thought you guys owned my dad a lot more money than that, but uh, okay. So we cannot talk to Pokey again. I'm guessing we we could, but uh, private elevator. Not for operational by general public. Billion manager. Let's beat the shit out of Pokey. Fuck it, let's go in here again. Hey Pokey. Ooh la la, this is my. Po oh wait, oh what? Didn't we have this conversation before? Yeah, we had this conversation before, didn't we? Okay. Hey, we can't skip the cutscenes, can we? Yeah, we can't. Okay, so, um, we can't talk to- we could see him, I guess, but we can't really talk to him. So I guess, in order for us to continue, we have to talk to Mr. Monopoly himself, huh? What happens if we talk to those two guards, though? Maybe they'll give us some sort of hints? You won't get away from me, kid! We could probably, like, investigate. No problem here. Nothing. Alright, what about you? Get away from me, kid! Okay, so they're just gonna insult me, basically. Where the fuck's Mr. Monotoli? So that elevator is private use, of course. This is definitely a place where it's supposed to do something. No problem here. What do I mean? Uh, damn it. Alright, so I guess we have no choice but to go back down or something? I don't know. What do we do after this? Look, don't stand behind me and stare my lips. I'm not staring at your goddamn hips. You look like you're the same age as I am. The fact that you're bringing me up kind of says otherwise, you know. Uh, alright. Yeah, this lady's a bitch. I think everyone in this building is a goddamn piece of shit. Uh, you guys have anything else to say? Alright, so at least we know the Mod Poly building is here, but... 
we should probably get some more tips from the uh, outside sources, maybe. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch your boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Guy base? Ha ha ha! I've already checked out your name! Shit. All the private information's already... Public, I guess. Hospital. Alright, so we got a hospital here. We got the, uh, Ape Incorporation there. Oh, this guy. No one knows anything here. What did those? Oh boy, lawyers, policemen, everyone, everyone that follows Monopoly, Monopoly, they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me alone and cry into my cappuccino. Nosy. Uh, can't go into any other buildings. Cafe. Now, what's this place for? Seems like it's just for decoration. <laughs> Alright. I was in the middle of the caffeine buzz. I don't want to get into the- That looks like beer. <laughs> that totally looks like beer, dude. There's no question that. That's totally beer. That's not caffeine, you know that? There's a secret wall- What the fuck? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. <laughs> oh, oops. No, I meant to say no. Whatever. <laughs> I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. Now I have no information or items to help you out. Don't think it's natural for a guy like me to be here. I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are there left? Well, if you eat one of the apples, that means four, but... No, he says eat. It doesn't say take a bite. Five minus one is four, so there's four left. Okay. Ah, it's not funny? Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's maid, Electra, is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. <laughs> Chugga Connor will be so pissed off at you, you know that. He'll beat the shit out of you for saying that. Puns are not funny. Say that to Chugga Conroy, bitch. Five minus one is four. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, I used to be Montoli's employer. Then I realized the scheme made me my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Montoli doesn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here, watching to see if he ever drops in. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotoli's here? Got that wrong, kid. Is that something about, like, a hidden door or something? Hold on a minute. Caffeine buzz. I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Oh. Next thing I knew, someone asked, who is it? It really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it? I don't know. What about you? What? Does Mr. Geldegarde... Geldegarde Monatoli come here often? Hello! Time to get up! It could never happen. Well, actually, it's not true. I've gained some hints. Maybe. So whoever this Monatoli guy is, he's getting a shit ton of power. And I guess we need to find him somewhere in his everyday life. I'm not sure if this game has like a day or life cycle or something. Uh, hold on, wait, we got a map, right? Okay, foresight. There's food, department store, which is closed right now. To the desert if we want to go there. Uh, wait, hold on, after here then, why the hell would we go afterwards? Hotel, food, hospital, department store. Huh. That right there is Montoli's building, next to the department store. We haven't been to those two buildings down the department store yet, have we? Or those two buildings next to the food court. Let's try going there. Or the hotel, for that matter, actually. Yeah, we should probably save there, too, and rest up, maybe. We got 74 bucks. I think we can make it. Although, I'm pretty sure it costs a lot more, right? Oh, there's also Parker. We could travel here, too. Deal with your evil entities in exchange for power. Alright. So that's basically, he sold the soul, his soul to the devil for power, basically. Hints? No, I don't need your fucking hints! Well, actually, maybe I do. But, uh, I don't want to puss out and do that shit. If I need hints, I'll look up a goddamn walkthrough now that the internet exists. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I don't give out tips. Uh, I don't know how much a fucking hotel costs, so I'll just get, like, shit, oops. I'll probably just withdraw like 300 bucks then. I'm assuming like each... Each person costs 100 bucks or something, right? 
Montoli Grand Hotel will cost you that much. Alright, not that much as I expected, but alright. Whew. Wait, there are two beds. Paula, who the hell did you sleep with? Or did I sleep with Jeff? I mean, we have to share beds, right? Who else did we sleep with? Over 70% of Forsyth citizens support Monotoli. Alright, where the fuck is Ms. Monotoli at though? You meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me. Tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. Okay. What's in this door? Nothing, okay. Huh. I is that what we're supposed to do? Find a seductive woman? <laughs> is it like that hooker back in third? I don't even know anymore. Alright, let's just deposit our money. Yeah, it doesn't look like we go into a department store and buy some shit, so... For now... Seems like money is gonna be useless for a while. There we go. Alright, where's Monotoli? Monotoli, Monotoli, Monotoli. Wherever the fuck this guy is. The city of Forsyth has developed quite a bit of since. Uh, yeah, blah blah. So people are enjoying it though, but some people are not because of the fact that uh, I guess Monotoli is bankrupting every single one of these fuckers. So that's bad news if they're giving poverty. The lifeline of poverty, whatever the hell you say. Alright, what's this? Oh, this is the bakery. This is where the food is, right? Alright, so there's a building below here, right? No, there's a building above there, which I don't think we could go in. But there is a building yonder here, and there's a black butler. Shit. Did I say black? I meant blue butler. <laughs> With black clothing. Ignoring reveler. We could always beat the shit out of him, though. Lecture you, guts were down. Whatevs. Turn back to normal, yay! Um, there's water here. <laughs> Alright, where's this Monotoli guy? We're gonna go after him with a face of power, huh? A power hungry man like himself shouldn't have too much power. Did I talk to this old man? There I did. What about you? Huh. What about up there? What's up there? Should I get read the signs? Should I probably- No, I think the park all consists of is a hint guy, right? Uh, how about you? The boy stuck in the wall may be a peeping Tom? Wait, the boy stuck to the wall may be a peeping Tom. Me and him. Behind this wall seems very sh- Oh, <gasps> There's something shiny! I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. I have to get down there somehow, maybe. There's a... Manhole ladder... Thing. I think that's the way I go. Get through here somehow. Looks like I had to go through there before the department store, but it's closed. Garg. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. So that seems like that's an area I'm supposed to go through. Alright. Question is how, though? It's gotta be like a secret. Oh my god, another crazy taxi. And it looks like there's a punk guy, so I'm not sure if he's a citizen or a bad guy. Uh, whatever the case is, let's kill this ta crazy taxi. Why am I crying? What? Oh, the fumes, of course. The fumes of the smoke from the car. God damn it. This is like Sand Attack before Sand Attack existed. Come on in. We've got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Well, whatever the fuck you're not looking for because these things suck. Mod boy jerk, you can't do me like this! Alright, so is there like a secret passageway here? How about back here, actually? This seems to be like a, a house thing. Oh no, that's... Okay. Whew. Alright, so we know there's a manhole there that consists of a ladder. We need to find a place that's... What the fuck? We're killing a sign, too? Confront the craze sign. It seems like Ohio 40 miles per hour. Alright, let's attack this craze sign. Try Paralysis Alpha. Didn't work. Good. Just we're gonna finish it off here. Not sure if we are. Yeah, we are! Okay, stop moving. Good. Whew! 
We're leveling up pretty much a lot. So once we get our fourth park member, he's going to be way behind. Oh my god, really? Another crazy taxi? You better not be spraying your fucking fumes on us. God damn it. At least we're getting a lot more powerful. So we're killing the crazy taxi a lot more faster. What about this dirty little fucking hobo? I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it though. Uh, what about this piece of paper? Okay, piece of canned goods. Uh, are we on the top now? We're here, next to the hospital. Huh. What's behind it? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Does the sign say anything? No problem here, so nothing, basically. That place has to do with something, right? We're not just imagining things. Let's go back to Montepoli's. Maybe there's some secret passageway there. The lady did say something about a bathroom, right? A solitaire tournament. That doesn't really give me much of a hint. Maybe I have to join inside a solitaire tournament. Uh, I don't think this is- Where's this fucking mother in this place? His father's there, but not his mother? I'm really stuck. Maybe I do need the hemp guy after all. Shit. Yeah, he's eating the same thing. Maybe he has something up his stash? Nothing, okay. That sprite looks really weird. <laughs> it looks like it's supposed to be like a background for a desert, but uh... Yeah, see that, those two little uh... sand particles next to those like... Next to like the palm trees on each side? <laughs> it looks like that's supposed to, be, supposed to be like placed during a desert or something, but... Behind it is just... A wall! Or this... Bar thing. That's weird. <laughs> Does every single- Yeah, this one also has the same thing too, like... Except it's a green desert, which I don't think it- What is that thing? Is that like another attachment to the tree or something, or... Did the programmers like fuck up during the graphics department or something? Yeah, doesn't it look like sand? It's not just that one tree either, it's every single tree. That's weird. Oh no no, no. why am I going back in? Huh. What do I do from here? No one else is giving me enough hints. Except for maybe like meet Monotoli somewhere? In the ca- in the cafe maybe? Uh, and there's like that hidden passage. Maybe there is something in the park that I missed. Hold on. Let me see. Oh shit, we didn't go inside that city hall looking place. The dinosaur museum! Maybe there's something in there actually. Let's check it out. What's inside the dinosaur museum? So it doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you want to go see dinosaurs, pay five bucks a piece. Shit. I just don't have. God damn it! That's the one problem of saving much as much money as possible is that when you don't have. Re I think I need at least one hundred dollars of ready cash. Oh, there's also the top pole that we could also uh, figure out where, where to go. All right, so there's two places we could go through: the Topola and um, the Dinosaur Museum. Let's go to the Dinosaur Museum first, and maybe we'll go back to the Topola. Actually, no, the Topola is actually pretty close by the hotel, so let's go there first. All right, so a hundred bucks. I think that's gonna be my minimum requirement. In case I need ready cash with me. Alright. Shit. There we go. Huh, <sighs> okay. This game definitely really rewards you with, um... Going all around the place to find your secret intensities and all... 
the main main um, parts that you need to go through. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks, please. Excuse me, sir, but your hands... Fuck me. Really? Everyone's hands are full? What the f... Oh my god, alright, where's the... Wait, no, the department store is closed. Fuck! Uh, oh, what the fuck is Butterfly doing here? Okay! I don't think I need it, do I? We don't need it. Alright, Butterfly, you throw them around and I'm free. Ah, <sighs> god damn. Alright, so 30 bucks. Alright, so 30 plus 18, 48. 48 plus 15. Wait, what am I going back in here for? Uh, Escargo Express. Yeah, I need to store some shit again. Alright, what do we need to get rid of? The Sudden Guts Pill. I kinda do wanna keep the double burger. Uh, pair of dirty socks, definitely, and handbag strap. What is this? When used as a whip during battle, and he takes enough damage to stop him for a short while. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Doesn't seem that useful. Or maybe the bag of fries. That might be less useful as well. All right, let's wait for Eduardo somewhere. Eduardo. International Express. Or Express Express, whatever the fuck you call it. Hey, dude! Escargo Express, there we go. Alright. Take up to three things. Uh, Take this Sun Guts pill. Take this dirt pair of dirty socks. And take this bag of fries. Hopefully it doesn't get rotten once you return it. Alright, holy shit, alright. We can't sell anything, so we had to rely on him in order to store our shit. Alright. Let's go to the Tapola now. $30 for a ticket, huh? Is it each? There we go. I got a ticket. Please. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show's about to start any moment. Okay. So... There's a lady- oh wait, hold on, where are we supposed to go exactly? So, you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This fan owes me a million bucks?! What, do they pay, need to pay debt again? If they bake their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police will probably say, Hey, you guys! Or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. You have to find buried gold. Or, or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho 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 ho, god damn. Runway 5, always getting to their deep nickies of trouble. Holy shit. Uh, ooh, this looks like a bigger place. Why does everyone look the fucking same? No problem here. Dot dot dot. Quiet! <laughs> everyone just keeps saying dot 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 or quiet. Is that all? Quiet! I feel like everyone's just gonna say the same thing. Quiet, okay. So we need to find a seat somewhere, right? Where's a good seat to sit down upon? What are you? What are you? When base arrives, I wonder if I told me to let him in. So please, come in. Oh, well, hold on. I guess the stage is not happening just yet. Isn't there supposed to be like a female singer or some shit? Like that? Alright, one way five. Hey dudes! Remember me? <gasps> Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is locker, right? Marvin used the back key machine, but nothing happened. Damn it! Oh, this locker. Nothing. Shit, alright. I can't go to those two lockers because this guy's blocking away. To meet Gel de Gar de Monotoli, you'll need our help. <gasps> yes, yes, yes! I don't exactly know why, it's just a hunch. Okay. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do wop, do do wop. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. Try reading the contract before you fucking sign it, then. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. So, you guys... Alright. Are you guys gonna perform again once we get out of here? Let's see. Looks like they're gonna perform. Or maybe the lady's gonna perform. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah, uh, kaboom! 
the third away five, yeah! Three, two, one, go! I don't think that's kind of jet. That's more like a rock and roll kind of thing, just done improperly. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Forming their music once again, and the runway five, of course, are six members. Maybe he's seven members actually. There's like a percussionist, or no, nope, never mind. It's just the one symbol. Symbol. It doesn't even look like the symbol's being used at all. It's just for there for show. I'm gonna, ooh! All the lights! All of the lights! Dun 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 dun. Be careful of seizure warnings! Is this their new hit track? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this guy was like fucked up during the concert. That girl did so bad. Alright, so are those guys gonna, like, the audience gonna say, shh, or quiet again, or something like that? Or what? Is this a sax solo? <laughs> or not? Y yay! How's the show, guys? What do you think, sir? It bas- uh, okay. Come on! Shows that right. Whoa, they cleaned up their shit real fast. All right. Um. Now what? They perform. Are they gonna help us now? We owe you guys so much. Sorry. Really? This. Okay. Do we keep the? Nope. We don't have the ticket anymore. I feel like we're gonna have to go here again. Or something. <laughs> Are they before? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so yeah, I feel like we're supposed to go to the dinosaur museum now, and we just wasted $30 on a ticket for a show that we can't pay off just yet. <laughs> Whatever, guys, enjoy the. Here, I'm gonna. I wanna play along with these guys or something. Um. I don't know, maybe this. I don't know if the microphone is gonna be off tempo or something. Wait, hold on. Uh. Okay, um, I don't know what this... I don't know. I was trying to be like the bassist of the group or something. Oh. I could try and play the bass of the song. Uh, I, I feel I'm mixing up the saxophone with the bass. Oh. I don't think I could play a guitar and play alongside with them or something. I mean, I just barely... Wait, hold on. Oops. Yeah, and I don't think the 8 melody is going to fit in with the jazzy soundtracks as is the Runaway 5. Or 6 in this case. Alright, we're done here, right? Oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, um... So we had to pay a million dollars this time. Fuck. Alright, let's go to this damn dinosaur museum now. So, yeah, we had to pay 30 bucks again, essentially. That's fine. I think we're done with the Zapola now. Next up, we're going to the dinosaur museum. Although, it's been a long time since we last took a break, right? Uh, whatever. Okay, 15 bucks, right? Lady. Replicas, yeah, yeah, just give me the damn ticket for the- yeah, five bucks a piece, yes. You find an academ ac academic researcher inside, alright. Maybe he'll tell me about uh, Topoli or something like that. There's a replica dinosaur bones. Is that it? I wonder how many animals go extinct before human begins discovering them, beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Uh, huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones! What the fuck do you think you're talking about? Huge. Huge what exactly were you thinking? <coughs> uh, anyways, uh, this museum is to sell dinosaur t-shirts. <gasps> oh, oops, shit. Oh? Is this the second time for Fuzzy Pickles? Picture is taken instantaneously. I am a photographic genius and you say so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera! Ready? 
Say Fuzzy Pickles! Here we go again! <laughs> this is gonna be a thing, guys, whether you look fucking like it or not. Plus, this is also a good way for me to tell you guys uh, when I recorded Earthbound, so yeah. <laughs> In case anyone's curious or anyone's questioning, Oh, when's the next Earthbound Let's Play? When is the next part going to show up? Don't worry, guys. This is a, If this is a good indication for telling me when the next Earthbound uh, LP is going to show up, save to screenshot album. There we go. <laughs> I didn't get any no notifications. I'm not sure. Wow, what a great photography. I do like to find some memories. <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely progress from what I'm thinking. Uh, ooh, this guy looks tough. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there's any, if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've got on my research. You want to hear more? Whisper. To tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were near, were found near the lower side of Scaraba. And there were lots of them. There were unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Alright, so was it again? Scarabra or something? Is that where we're supposed to go next? So there are dinosaurs near... The lower side of Scaraba. Where the fuck is this the Scaraba place? Doesn't sound like the place I've been there before. Okay. You guys have anything else to say? What about this? The oh, fuck I don't want Dinosaur bones believe to be from southern Scaraba. Don't ask if any for any details. Our research is continuing. Huge! Uh, okay. And we, I don't think we could go up there, can we? Is this really it? Alright, Scaraba. Where the fuck is Scaraba? Uh, Alright, I guess that's our information. Scaraba! Or something like that. What about you? Venus. Where the fuck is this Venus chick? Maybe I'd find the Scaraba thing in, uh, I mean, find the million dollars in Scaraba or something. Uh, how much do I have? And how much is the hint guy? Oh, who are you? I don't get it. I heard that a guy who looks like Monotoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. I heard he quietly goes in and out. Do we wait there? Alright, so we have a hint that he's at the fucking cafe then. Or at least a guy that looks like Monotoli. Are you him? Is this Monotoli? <laughs> Is this Monotoli? Are any of you assholes Monotoli? Uh. Seems like just for decoration. Uh, fuck it, where's the hidden guy? I, I give up. I have a feeling we're supposed to go to this Garaba place, but I have no idea where the fuck this goes. In fact, I kind of want to see what the hint guy actually offers up, because I'm not sure if his hints are actually any useful or not. We'll see. Once we find him. Where the fuck he is. I think he's here, right? Maybe. No, just that guy. I think he's over there then, mate. Right? Next to the hotel, I think. And seventy-five dollars. 
<sighs> okay, fine. I'll give you your damn 75 bucks. How much do I have right now? 37. So, fuck it. I, I, don't, I don't feel like doing math right now. 45. 42. Maybe. <laughs> Hope I got this ready the first try, 42. Oh, I was way out. So maybe 32 then, I'm guessing. What? Whatever. Or maybe 38? 37? Something like No, it's, it was an odd number, so it has to be an even number for me to get. <gasps> whatever. Fine. Here's our fucking money and the hint guy, whatever. Uh, yeah. In the middle of Dusty Dunes Desert, there is someone who's starving. I just sense it. That's all for today. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where Saraba fucking place is. Okay, we're going back to the desert. Find the starving guy. Give him food, I guess. Alright. I've been recording for a long time now, haven't we? So I think this is a good time to take, uh, take a break then, huh? Alright, we'll be right back with the next part of Earthbound. We're gonna go back to the desert, find the starving guy, and feed him a bunch of hamburgers.